process and have narrowed it down to three applicants. And um, should, now we're just going to start the process of doing some reference checks and should hopefully have somebody selected after Thanksgiving. Um, so that's been very well. We have a good pool of local applicants that have applied. So it's been a very good um, process to go through. I put down Locate South Georgia Regional Marketing Effort and just kind of to talk to you about what we do from a regional aspect when it comes to marketing. Um, one of the things that we have done over the last few years is our South Regional Joint Development Authority. Those are our seven counties that we work together to host um, a marketing event every year. Um, within that, we also have four of us that started this last year. So we went to Chicago, we did a legislative event amongst all our legislators in Atlanta. We've made um, you know, trips to Atlanta together. We've um, established a one-page marketing um, brochure that we can use while we meet together with consultants, um, project managers, um, and our state partners. Um, and that, con that consists of Cook County, Brooks County, and Thomas County. So those are the four counties that have worked together over the last year. Um, we met recently to talk about what we could do for 2015 and come up with a whole entire calendar of events. And then we also have our own calendar of events that we've been working through from a marketing review. The Love Kate South Georgia regional marketing effort is a strategy that, well, we please. We have the Southwest Georgia Chamber Council, which started up back in the 70s or 80s. And that consisted of Chamber of Commerces throughout Southwest Georgia, um, us, um, Tipton, and all through here. And that's who put on the Georgia quail hunt, or started the fall feather hunt. Um, that typically has served as um, an economic development arm, a voice for South Georgia, a legislative arm. Um, we have a legislative agenda that we put out. Um, every January, and that's kind of involved economic development commissions, organizations, and chamber of commerce. <coughs> About five years ago, there was another marketing effort called Locate South Georgia that um, was created out of electric cities of Georgia communities, and that was about 10. Um, recently, those two organizations have decided to merge. Um, which would create about an 18 county marketing effort um, that would all go under the Locate South Georgia arm. Um, the purpose of that is to market South Georgia as a place to compete regionally um, and global, I mean, as a place to market globally, market us as a global competitive place to do business, sorry. And um, so that's part of that initiative. On the same side, we would still, okay, that would cost $5,000 to be a part of. In addition to that, we would then pay separate to go to Georgia Quail Hunt and do our legislative agenda, which is currently what we do now. The $5,000 joint fee would be to attend possibly four regional events, um, probably in Atlanta um, with our counties. Um, those haven't really been determined yet. Um, so that's to locate South Georgia Regional, and, and I would just like to hear what y'all thoughts are behind it. This cost, is it assessed based on county size, or is it? It's actually determined by the south size of your community. So Albany is the only other, Albany Darden County would be the only other community that could, that would pay off what are the smaller communities paying? A thousand. And those would be populations below 20,000. Would there be any net benefit to this joint effort to this community? What is it that, how is it that will benefit any more than what we're doing presently? My, um, Everything that we've been doing from a marketing effort, mm -hmm. um, to be honest, is it's too big. It's too much. Um, when you look at marketing a community or marketing an area, you need to be able to share your numbers, share your demographics, share the same story, the same targets. 
Um, this would actually, we would be the bordering county all the way over to Alabama. We don't pull workforce from that. We don't, um, I mean, we just don't go that far. Um, what we have started working on is trying to target a more centralized regional marketing effort, you know, with our four, but also along I-75. Um, and any conversations that I've had with people outside um, at the state level, our state partners have been, why don't you have that I-75 regional marketing effort to move forward? So, um, my, I would like to move forward in, if I were to take $5,000, put it more towards an I-75 marketing effort than an entire 18 to 20 county regional marketing effort. And, and we don't lose our identity as a community no. and our ability to sell ourselves as a distinct community within the South Georgia region. I don't believe so. And I think um, the other thing, too, is we're still able to participate in the Georgia Quail Hunt as well as the legislative agenda. So um, the effort that we would be talking about with I-75 would actually be those communities just located on I-75 and maybe incorporating the four that we've been working with. There's some that are aligned. We haven't talked about it. We're starting to have those meetings now to see what we could do that would help us um, structure this and come up with a marketing approach. But from the locate South Georgia aspect, I really think that's Southwest Georgia's focus um, because they're going to sh share the same workforce, the same story, the same connections, the same um, target markets. Any thoughts? I think you've hit it right on the head because there's a real lot different. Like that. Mm -hmm. really are. What is the total cost? You gave us a five thousand dollar cost for those four <laughs> events, and I understood there were other costs associated with being a. It, that's our cap. That's our cap. So okay. we do five thousand dollars, and um, that would be all that we would pay if other than our travel. Okay. What are the four, top four events? Are the four events been decided yet? Not so sure. Um, marketing events that would be amongst project managers and state partners. Um, possible um, marketing events with consultants, but they haven't really come to <coughs> name exactly what those are going to be. So you're asking the board to approve that sum for purposes of joining this mm -hmm. consortium, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, comments? Cool. So would y'all recommend joining Locate South Georgia or putting $5,000 towards an I-75 corridor? I like the I-75 corridor uh, I, much better. I, I do too. Mm -hmm. And I guess my question would be, what do we lose if we don't go in with the Locate South yeah. Georgia? <clears throat> I mean, it's a great branding, and we are set part of South Georgia, so it's a great branding logo theme. Um, if we don't go in with them, are the smaller communities around us going in, and it would kind of stand out that we're the everybody surrounding us, baby, or not surrounding us, but I understand you said we're the west, far west side, um, or far east side, I guess. Um, but it, are the contiguous counties of, around us going to participate, and then it's well, why about us to participate? I don't think so. Um, and that is something where that I-75 corridor kind of comes into play. Um, we will have a few that will, because uh, Region 10 uh, ends between Brooks and Thomas. So Thomas County and Brooks. So Brooks is in our region, Thomas is, so that's kind of where the line is. Um, so we're in Region 11. <coughs> I think if there weren't another regional initiative taking place and there weren't an effort to make a very targeted regional marketing campaign, then it would be a different story. But I think that, that because we're heading in the right direction towards focusing along I-75 and partnering with those communities along that line, um, that I don't think we would be perceived as not playing. So you strongly recommend this I-75 consortium slash along? I think that's a better market. I mean, my marketing opinion, and I 
if you want to put some marketing criticism. <laughs> um, and the communities that we work with feel good and strong about moving forward in that direction. Who would hit that effort? I-75 corridor effort. Would that be something that you would take on as a leader to, to head that effort? Or is there somebody else in that corridor that's stepping forward as a leader? I think we all are. Um, I think there's, we've worked with, um, there's Lowndes County, Cook County wants to be a part of that, Tift County wants to be a part of that, Chris County would like to, and we um, would like to talk to Turner um, about being a part of it, but along up to Chris. Mm -hmm. Following up with her question, and I think this may be more to the point, um, Tifton is seen as one of our competitors. You know, how does that play into joining this consortium with what we sometimes perceive as a competing community? Well, we compete regionally all the time. So, and we compete with Brooks County, we compete with Cook County, we compete with Tifton, um, Chris County. So we all see a lot of similar projects. Um, the, the focus has become getting a region together and marketing together. We're they're going to get a project just like we're going to get a project. And at that point, it comes down to what we have to offer and what they have to offer. It's more having a voice and working together and showing our assets that software is a good you know, place to do business and what we have along our 75. We can do both. I mean, we don't have to do one or the other. Well, and probably more directly, is Tipton involved with Locate South Georgia? They're not, they're not a, candidate, a candidate for They that. are a candidate, but I don't believe they're going to participate. I can't speak on behalf, but I think they're leaning more towards this. So, that's where we're at. Mr. You don't Council, have to vote if you... Do you need a consensus or we don't? I think it's just a consensus. Consensus, well, consensus, and I think you could agree to maybe allow Andrea to find out the tenor of the I-75 participants before you make a decision on the other one, you know, from that standpoint, probably. Is that what you want? Yeah, that is. That's what From the From the standpoint of the consortium, I would think that Tip County is going to do what we need for. So I, I, I think I would key on, on what they were going to do. And that's actually something that was brought up to us in the broker meeting, was why don't we do more with Tipton? Why don't we have more partnerships? You know, their Ag Center, um, we have a lot of Ag, our region has a lot of ag. Why aren't we doing more with Tifton and the resources that they have? So that was actually a point that was brought up to us the other day. Okay. I think you have a consensus. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And um, just as an I finished my term on the Georgia Economic